here is term structure for SPX options. So this is the at the money implied volatility for every single expiration out in time for the S&P. Now the S&P is currently trading around 38.78 on today, which is Monday, October 31st. And in two days, we have the FOMC, which is why we see in the yellow line, this elevated short-term implied volatility, which shows us that traders are forecasting somewhere around a one and a half to 2% move for the S&P on that day. Now, as you can see, is that out in time, there is a sharp backwardation here, which says that out in time, traders aren't quite as concerned. There's just a lot of demand for short dated options to hedge a tail event that is Powell really exceeding expectations to one way or the other. Now, the other line we've included here is this blue line. And the blue line is the term structure from October 13th. That is when the S&P hit year-to-date lows around 3,500. And as you can see, even though short-dated implied volatility was up around where it is now, the longer-dated implied volatility was really quite a bit higher. So over the last two weeks, as the market has rallied, that longer-dated implied volatility has really decompressed to where we are today. What does term structure look like in a quote-unquote normal market? For that, we've included the term structure from a year ago today. And as you can see, it is in contango, meaning that the shortest dated implied volatility is below that of longer dated. And this makes sense because generally traders feel like they can forecast where the market will be in the next week or two better than they can forecast where it may be out, say, six months from now. So with the FOMC, we're going to see obviously one of two situations. If Powell tricks the market, what we are going to see is longer dated implied volatility shift higher. So this short dated implied volatility, which is really quite elevated, will roll out and that will lead to the rest of the term structure elevating up into where we see this blue line. And we think with that, the market will be pressured down in the 3,600 area. And that is because put positions that exist out in December expiration, they're going to gain in value and that could incite dealers to start hedging via selling futures and equities. Now, conversely, a dovish surprise, we're looking for the term structure across the board to deflate and come down. And with that, we're also going to see a very quick selling of the short dated options such that the curve will likely shift back into a contango structure similar to what we saw a year ago. Obviously, I don't think we're going to get down this low this fast, but when this term structure deflates, it is going to send equities likely higher because all of those put values, which are elevated now, are going to really get crushed. And with that, we think the market will shift up into the 4,000 area in very short order. And so we think when you are assessing how the market perceived Powell's positioning, you really want to watch this term structure. Bulls will want to see this front end come down quickly and shift into a contango stance and you want to see this decompress and then conversely if you are a bear what you're going to want to see is this short dated high levels of implied volatility roll out and translate like a shock wave pushing that longer dated implied volatility up that's how the market could be under some pressure for some time